Welcome to Gray on Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a trapezoid. Inside this trapezoid is a uh, circle inscribed. And uh, these uh, points are actually indications that this circle, uh, the points is tangent to the segments of this uh, trapezoid. So we are required to find the area of the circle. Okay. So first thing that uh, we should notice is that we can actually draw tangent, uh, I mean the radius from the points of tangency for this circle. So uh, we can draw from here this tangent point to the center of the circle and from this to this center tangent point to the center and this tangent point to the I center to the tangent point at the 18 unit segment okay so notice that this segment this radius bisects this uh, 8 unit segment and if that is the case so this segment is for this is for Four units and this is also four and since uh, this uh, four unit segment intersects with another segment from this tangent point so this tangent point then this should have also a distance of four units and same as this this should be also four units since this point is the intersection of the two tangents. So we have four units. Okay, so next is we consider this length. This uh, 18 unit segment is bisected by this radius. So this radius, if that bisects that, then this becomes 9. So this is actually 9 units. And this is 9 units. Okay, so if that is 9, then this is also 9. And this is also 9. Because they intersect at an external point from these two tangents where the left, these are the two tangents. And this is the next one, they intersect outward. Then this uh, length should have a... 9 unit this should be 9 because this is 9 and same for this this should be 9 because this is 9 okay so next is we project this as uh, diameter of this circle to the left or to the right if you want it to the right and if we project that then we will draw a line from this point towards this bottom segment of this trapezoid and we actually form a right triangle and the hypotenuse is actually this becomes uh, 9 plus 4 becomes 13 and this becomes since this is symmetric if you draw a line at the this point to downwards then this should be also 4 so 4 minus 18 is equal to 14 uh, 4 minus 9 is equal to 5 sorry so we have since this is 9 then we subtract here 4 then this should be 5 so this should be 5 also okay so we are now, we actually formed a right triangle and the hypotenuse is 13 and the shorter leg is 5. And we have here the unknown length, uh, this longer leg, which is also projected from the same length of the diameter of the circle. So if we get this uh, length, this length, so we are actually getting the diameter of the diameter of the circle. So there is 
It is now easy to find the area. Okay, so let us now label this uh, red segment as 2R since this is the diameter of the circle. Okay, so the hypotenuse is 13. So uh, we have here the hypotenuse as 13. So we have 13 square is equal to 2R square plus 5 square. So we have 169 is equal to 4R square plus 25. So 4R square is equal to 169 minus 25. Okay, so that will be 144. Then 4R square. So divide both sides by 4. And this becomes 36, so R square is equal to 36. Okay, so for the final step, since we have the value of R square, which is 36, so the area for any circle is, if you have the radius, that is pi R square. So area is simply pi times, since R square is 36, so this becomes 36. So Area is equal to 36 pi square units. And that is our answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. So you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.